Uh, let's go on to Tim, who's going to tell you about a little bit about grammar. Uh, we can all use some of that, I'll tell you. I'll pass <laughs> Actually, over the keyboard to you. Now, this is something I found and I use. As you, uh, I think I've said before, I'm a student um, here. So I actually have a lot of problems with grammar. And when papers are being graded for grammar, I lose a lot of points on that. <laughs> so necessity being the mother of all invention, I had to find a way to make my grammar skills at least seem like I had more. And there's no reason not to use this stuff. I mean, it's in Microsoft Word now. Why not? Mm -hmm. Exactly. No need to make yourself look ignorant. <laughs> so I'm going to start. I'm going to show you um, Microsoft Word 2003. It's very similar in 2008. The icons just change, as you know. They try to, you know, make the interface a little bit more streamlined. So um, instead of a drop-down list, you just go to an icon. But it's in the same location. And then I'm going to show you. Word 2007, which just completely broke the rules on every other Word program ever. <laughs> you, d you definitely will need to catch the 2007 one if you're doing. OK, so in Word 2003, what you want to do is go up to Word, Preferences. And you want to go down to your spelling and grammar. Now, I'm going to show you uh, under your spelling and grammar tab. I'm going to move this window over. Um, these are your typical check spelling as you type. But what I wanted to show you was um, writing style here. Um, usually, by default, it's set on standard, which is which is good. Um, that will get you a lot of. That will definitely check for a lot of mistakes. But I like to beef it up by going to technical and then going into the settings, and I'll show you everything that it's now checking for. You know, I never uh, really noticed that settings button before. Yeah, oh, it's. Not. It's one of those things that until you actually need to start looking for these things, and as you can see, it's now capitaling, or it's now checking for capitalization, commonly confused words, and you see this this uh, scroll list here, um, a lot of sentences. sentences. So many times, um, no matter where you're writing, like even if you're not writing for a grade, even if you're writing just to write, passive sentences um, can make your your piece seem really weak. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really know how to, I can't give you the technical definition of passive sentences, but it's when you don't have a subject actually doing something. It's when you have, and it was done by so-and-so instead of so-and-so was doing something. Ask your, lingu your, your <laughs> English teacher, not your uh, techies. <laughs> <laughs> and then possesses and plurals, um, that's going to check for your apostrophe S or your S apostrophe or just no S at all. So these are very important things. Cliches. Oh yeah. If you're cli if you if you realize you use a lot of cliches and you don't want your paper to be yeah. full of that. So these are things that you guys need to play with and that you need to check out because these can make your writing contractions as well because some teachers may not like you using can't. They want you to put cannot. Mhm. Mm Gender specific words. If you're trying to write a piece um, for I actually took a diversity class where we were discussing things about gender specific writing. Mm -hmm. And so I turned that one on when I was writing for that class because that makes sense. Exactly. Especially if you have a female teacher and you're talking about him all the time. <laughs> She's not going to like that. So these are, these are all the rules that you used to get you know, all through K through 12 when you're taking your grammar classes. These are all those rules, and now they're in the computer. And it's an often overlooked thing. It's been around since Word 2004. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's been around prior to that. It's just often overlooked. And it can make your writing so much stronger. And maybe you'll get some points back for your grammar section. But Excellent. this is, like I said, this is the 03 version. O four. O four. Yeah. Well, O three and O four probably pr very similar. It's office, under the tools tip. Office two thousand three and mm -hmm. Word and Office two thousand four Word. Office two thousand three. So, if you're a PC user, it's just under the tools, the spelling, program. and grammar check. And Office two thousand eight is very similar to this as well. Mm -hmm. You should be able to follow these instructions for doing it in two thousand eight. However, two thousand seven is a be is a different beast. It is a beast <laughs> with that whole ribbon interface and things are confusing. If you're used to finding things in a different place, so so let's switch over to parallels here. As soon as we're, I don't want to save that document. It was a blank <laughs> document. So I'm going to go down and um, I'm going to go to parallels. We should show them how to save stuff in more universal formats next week. We'll do that. We'll talk about saving files in different formats. And I'm going to switch to full screen here. Okay. Thank you for the warning. <laughs> and um, okay. Boom 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 boom. Thank you, Dee for. <laughs> Keeping us entertained. <laughs> I had to give the little Windows theme as best I could. <laughs> I would like to turn that off, honestly. I'm the music minor, you know that? <laughs> and so now here I am in <laughs> Word 2007. And There's known by the famous ribbon and logo in the corner. And the logo, remember, that's your new file button. 
because the file tab is completely gone. It was replaced by the logo. So just remember that, and that's going to help you in the future as you do things too. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this, and word options is where we're going to go. And um, if we see here, we have our proofing. This is where the grammar check is now hiding. And so I'm going to zoom out because this is... Yeah, yeah that, that should be pretty good. And um, what we're going to do is, when correcting spelling and grammar in Word, um, writing, writing style, switch it to grammar and style. This is going to start checking for all... And let me show you what it actually checks. Uh, under the grammar now, we're checking for capitalization, fragments, and run-ons, the typical stuff. But the... Um, see, it's checking for... Now, these would normally be set, but the style is what I just turned on. So now it's checking for the cliches the, the, and the jargon, the okay. contractions. Those so are the things. Those are the things that, uh, that I just showed you in 2004. Passive sentences. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And maybe, maybe your professor doesn't care about gender-specific words, so you can still turn these on and off, mm -hmm. which is good. But it's just good to know where these things are so that you can... Depends on the type of writing you're doing, it gives you mm -hmm. more customization. You can control if I don't want it to. Mm -hmm. Use of first person is actually a big deal with a lot of teachers, and this is actually by default, it isn't turned on. So you might want to come down in here and so you don't use I and me. And I noticed that last one says wordiness. If only there was one to do that on your podcast when the hosts are getting a little... Oh, never mind. <laughs> and let's say you don't need all these. You can reset them. Okay. Back so to the default. Back to the default. Okay. And so that would be... Grammar set. Grammar in 2007. And like I've said twice now, and Dealey hit it once, in 2008, <laughs> it's a lot simpler, or it's a on lot... On the Mac side. On the Mac side, it looks like 2004, so you should be able to follow those instructions. It's interesting, the most current, up-to-date version of Microsoft Office is only available on the Mac. Hmm. It's interesting. Hmm. Anyway, and yet 2007 is actually, in a way, available for Mac and Windows, because... Parallels, we're running right here on our Mac. That's one of the, things we, one of the reasons we use a Mac is because we can do both operating systems on here. We can even run Vista if we want or Linux. Well, let's pop into viewer questions. I know you've been dying to hear about this.